Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Boogie. I know my quality is bad, y'all know, because I'm on my laptop, right? I'm on my laptop. I'm not in the lab at the crib right now. I'm out of town in California. But, yo, listen, today we're going to be reacting to this video of Kelly Rowland on the Canes Festival red carpet. And she kind of got pushed to the side. It was going viral. I don't know if y'all saw it. But they, they was doing her dirty. The security guard was wilding, all right? So, yo, we not going to waste too much time. Please hit that subscribe button. I know it don't mean a lot to you, but it mean a whole lot to me for me to hit my goals this year. We're doing really good just by being consistent, all right? We a family. It's the Boogie family, all right? I appreciate you coming back for your return of viewer, too. And don't forget to hit that like button so I know you alive. So I know you alive. Hey, man, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so I'm not going to play this sound because... They had music playing, but okay, this is Kelly Rowland right here. It looks like, you know, she's just waving. She's doing the, the thing that all the um the personalities do. She's taking up she's taking up pictures. It looked like the security guard is kind of telling her where to go. But it does seem like she's kind of rushing her to go though. Alright. But it makes sense for Kelly Rowland to stop, take pictures, because this is literally what they do on this carpet. And there's certain places on the carpet where they're supposed to stop, turn around, and pose. But as you can see right here, they're kind of rushing her like like this moment right here. Hold on, my bad. This moment right here. It's two security guards rushing the Kelly Rowland up the stairs. Why are we rushing Kelly Rowland up the stairs as if she's not one of the main personalities that's there on the carpet? Kelly Rowland is a, a mogul, you know what I mean? Like, there's two security guards rushing up to say as if she did something inappropriate. That's why I'm kind of raising my eyebrows at the city. Why y'all, why is there two security guards with their arms out like, come on, hurry up. And then this happens. Ah, the music is crazy. And I think right there, she stepped on Kelly Rowland's dress. And here's where she's checking her. Yeah, she, she's definitely giving her the business. <laughs> like, yeah, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> yeah, she's not playing. So, I know we couldn't really, we couldn't hear that video. We couldn't even hear what she was saying. But let's hear Kelly Rowland's response to the situation. Because she responded. The, the woman knows what happened. I know what happened. And, um... I have a boundary, and I stand by those boundaries, and that is it. And there were other women that attended that carpet who did not quite look like me, and they didn't get there, scolded, or pushed off, or told to get off. And um, I stood my ground, and she felt like she had to stand hers, but I stood my ground. And I the, the woman it's truly sad. Happened. It's truly sad, because I also found... A video of other people walking up the carpet very unbothered very untouched and to me it just made it very much apparent and very much more obvious this woman right here pours fake blood on herself as she's walking up the stairs but let's pay attention to how much time she had to go up the stairs to divert um, on the stairs and pull out whatever she wanted to pull out while she was on the stairs. Let's make me a little bit smaller so you guys can see this video. Y'all, look at this. Okay, she's walking up the stairs. Let's let's notice a couple of things in this moment. Okay, right now, she, she so she was going up the stairs. Now she's sidestepping on the stairs nobody's coming up to her nobody's stopping her in fact somebody's taking a picture of her nobody's raising a flag about it she doesn't sidestep on the stairs kelly Rowland was just turning around to smile on the stairs this lady right here and um at the top in black there's no security guards rushing her up the stairs boom she's pulling something out of her shirt Still, nobody is running up to her. Nobody's stopping her. Nobody's saying, hey, it's not two security guards on her. None of that. This is why this is what made me look at the Kelly Rowland situation like, hey, yo, this woman had so much freedom going up the stairs to the point where she was able to sidestep, pull something out of her bra 
and nobody has walked up yet. Let's see what it took for somebody to finally walk up. She pulls this stuff out. Now she has stuff in her hand. <laughs> now she has stuff in her hand. We don't know what it is, right? Nobody knows what it is. Now that it's it's apparent that the woman is putting blood on herself, fake blood on herself. Okay, maybe we need to get her down. Let's go back to the Kelly Rowland video for a quick little second. Can, can we do that? Can we go back to Kelly Rowland for a quick second? Hold on. Um, where's that video at? I think it's right here. Yeah. Let's go back to this video real quick. She's walking up the stairs. Nothing inappropriate is happening. She's literally walking up the stairs. She's leaving. He's guiding her as if she does not know where to go. She's going. She's leaving. She's leaving. She's waving, and now there's two security guards on her. This is where the red flags, to me, were raised. Because it's like, this other lady just had all this freedom. And Kelly Rowland's being pushed up the stairs for what? With two security guards. Let, let's go back to it. So we can't sit here and say, oh, it's not a race thing. Oh, it, it can't be a race thing. This woman is standing there freely. She's standing there freely. And apparently she's actually a protester uh, for Ukraine. So I, for you all that don't know, she has the Ukrainian flag colors. And her pouring blood on her is basically like raising that, um, that awareness to what's going on in Ukraine. So that's what's going on with that. But it just shows you, like, look at the comparison, y'all. She's being rushed by two people. Nobody's on her. And she's blatantly has diverted from the path that everybody is taking to turn around to maybe take pictures, to maybe do something inappropriate, to maybe have her own shine. Whatever it is, she did way more than Kelly Rowland and nobody stopped her immediately. Y'all, y'all comment below. What do y'all think? I'll say this. All right. There's a lot of things that go on in the media that we sit here and we act like, oh, no, it's it's not race. But when you compare situations, you you can see how people really um, how people really feel. We can sit here and be like, oh, no, that lady, you know, she's just doing her job. She's just a security guard. She actually had another moment in this night that I'm about to do another video about because I want to go a little bit deeper in that video where she rushed a lady up the stairs, um, was trying to cover her dress. That's my lady in the background. She's trying to cover her dress and all type of stuff. But it shows it's very symbolic to Hollywood and what she was trying to cover because there was Jesus on her dress. But we're going to go into that in my next video. It's not going to be as long as this video, but we're going to that in my next video. But again, if you react to a situation like this in this situation, but not like that in this situation, it shows that you have some type of favoritism. OK, it shows that you have some type of if you look on the screen right now, the lady in the middle of the screen in the black is just standing there. She's literally just standing there. The lady in the blue and the yellow is just standing there. It wasn't until she pulled out blood and started pouring it on herself that security was like, oh, yeah, maybe we should get her. Kelly Rowland walking up the stairs, minding her business. And it's two security guards on her as if she's getting ready to commit a federal crime. So these are the things that I like to bring to the light. And I've seen a lot of people saying that, oh, Kelly Rowland, Kelly Rowland is classless and ratchet. See, this is the thing that that side of America does not understand. It's something to say when you have to continuously go through this as a black American, where every moment that that's supposed to be a moment, you got to get treated differently from how the white people are being treated. And if we react to defend ourselves, now it's classless and ratchet. OK, so I, again, y'all know I don't like to do the race thing, but for y'all to call her classless and ratchet, would it have been classless and ratchet if a white woman would have defended herself? Like, hey, man, like you're pushing me up the stairs. Why does it take two of y'all? Why are y'all stepping on my on my um, on my dress? It's not classless and ratchet. She's defending herself. And come to find out, it's not the first time the security has done this. All right. So let's be careful how we use these words, because a lot of these words only get used for certain races. I have not heard uh, white women get called classless or ratchet. You know what I mean? But if it's a black woman defending herself, it becomes classless and ratchet. You know, so 
Kelly Rowland completely, she did exactly what she's supposed to do. Defend yourself. And I mean, let it be known. Therefore, the people that's over this walk, um, the Canaan's walk, uh, yeah, let's get rid of this lady. I mean, because we've had multiple situations with her and Kelly Rowland arguing with her on the stairs should be the straw that broke the camel's back. Hey, man, it's your boy, Ty Boogie. Please comment below. Let me know how y'all feel and all that good stuff. Um, Do you think the, the security guard was right? Do you think Kelly Rowland should not have argued with the lady like that? What do you guys think? All right. Comment below. Is it a race thing or is it not? Um, But hey, man, it's been your boy, Ty Boogie. I'm out of here, man. Peace.